Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series. Welcome to Life in the Woods Renaissance. This is a mod pack that actually has its own launcher. Um, I'll put links to all the pertinent stuff in the description. Um, but this is a mod pack that is very much about just kind of the beauty of the world and exploration and wildlife and all that kind of stuff. This is going to be a very buildy series uh, because there's really not a lot of mods. There's not really a lot of progression in this pack, so there's not going to be a lot of technical stuff. This is very much going to be kind of a kind of a vanilla plus mod pack. We can take a look at the, at the mod list. Um, it's got backpacks. It's got bibliocraft. Uh, we've got a lot of farming and garden stuff uh, and chisel. Basically, things that are just all about beauty. Uh, beauty and life in the woods. This mod pack is actually inspired by the writings of um, Henry David Thoreau, um, who wrote a book called Walden or Life in the Woods. Uh, and that's kind of what this is based on. And it's, from what I've seen, it's an absolutely gorgeous mod pack. Um, and it'll be a beautiful world, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, real quick administrative note there's the seed if you feel like playing along. Um, and I'm playing the basic regular version of the pack. Um, I did make one very minor modification to the pack, and I added a single mod, and that's this, Lumberjack. Um, essentially that will make me, allow me to craft these Lumberjack axes, which will allow me to chop down a whole tree at once, because I didn't want to go and add Tinkers to it, uh, or Vein Miner or anything like that, but I did want a way to chop down an entire tree at one time. So I did make that modification myself. Um, but yeah, life in the woods renaissance, food. Food is gonna be a really big priority for us. Uh, and food is actually a very significant focus in this mod pack. Uh, we've got all sorts of Pam's stuff. We've got uh, pigs. The goal is kind of to um, to be able to survive using only vegan options, like that, that's a thing, uh, in this pack, but I'm, uh, it, an optional thing, and I don't know that I'm gonna do that, uh, because I love meat, I love pork, I love bacon, and I love burgers, so I don't know if I'm going to, uh, forsake meat entirely, <laughs> but either way, let's go ahead and get some real basic stuff going here, let's just make... A wooden pick and then you're gonna find if you do play this there's all sorts of different types of stone from this underground biomes construct mod um, it basically adds a whole bunch of different types but they're all ore dictionary and uh, function just like regular stone and cobblestone so I can still make stone tools out of this uh, and all that kind of good stuff so it should be fine uh, let's just get a bit of this so I can at least get some stone tools going and we'll just get how much do I need eh, probably 20 ish 25 maybe I don't know um, but yeah this is gonna be a very build a very build heavy let's play we're gonna do a lot I have a lot of really cool building ideas um, that really kind of stem from the idea of life in the woods. Very simple living, um, very rustic, very kind of secluded. I'm, I'm really excited, actually. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, let's go ahead and make some tools here. We'll make a pick and a shovel. And then this is the lumber axe that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make that and use that. It's not in the original pack, but it'll take... A lot of the grind out of it for me and with the way that my outside of YouTube schedule goes all the grind reducing I can get is gonna be very beneficial so uh, this will just allow us to chop down a whole tree at once now as far as oh hello oh oh no oh that's not what I wanted to do oh okay good it, it still flew over here it's it survived we're good uh, these gardens are from Pam's harvest craft and they will basically you you break them you can uh, pick them up by left clicking them which is what I've been doing because they'll fill up your inventory really quickly if you're not careful and until we get uh, a backpack going I think we're probably going to have to be a little careful with our inventory management um, but 
we'll grab them because they will give us valuable sources of food uh, and the ability to grow different things. So um, hopefully one of the biggest ones that we're going to want to get as quickly as possible will be soy. Uh, soybeans, because you can use them for all sorts of stuff. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. There's also all sorts of additional mobs that are added. Hello, sheep. I need I need your wool. I need your wool so I can make a bed. Because it will be night sooner or later. And, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, there's plant mega pack in here. <laughs> Obviously, as I said, we're running shaders. Um, I think... I think maybe we'll head over there. That looks like a really... I mean, this whole area is absolutely gorgeous. What is that? Oh, those are more pigs. They just look a little different because of the shaders. I thought those were like some sort of flower or something. Um, I do need the food, though, so I am going to murderize these pigs as best I can. I'd also like to... No! Come back. Come back, pork. I need you. Ooh, and I'm already getting hungry. Um, I'd like to find some iron. Preferably... Wow! Hey, frame rate. Can we... Can we not, like, freak out? Like, please... Thank you. There we go. Not liking that frame rate issue. I might have to go with a different shader pack. Right now I'm using uh, Silger's Vibrant Shaders, the high version, which is the kind of the recommended one uh, that they want you to use for the mod pack. But uh, I do have a bunch of other shader packs that I could switch to, like my beloved CUDA shaders that I normally use, or, uh, you know, any number of a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, I think this will work, though, for a little kind of starting area. We've got some decent wood going here. I think we'll want to build a cabin. Um, I mean, obviously, life in the woods, you got to build a cabin, right? Like, that's that just seems like a rule. Uh, but we'll definitely take use, uh, we'll, we'll definitely make use of this lumber axe just to take some grind out of it, get ourselves a decent amount of wood going, and all that kind of good stuff. So, let's see, let's just... Get maybe a, a stack of wood or so, so I can build myself an actual cabin. Come here. Yes. Let's just get a bit. There we go. Do I still have enough? I do. I do still have enough for a furnace. We'll have to get one of those going here pretty soon, too. There we go. We'll just get all the wood. That should be enough for us to build at least a little starter house, I think. Uh, and maybe we'll make, like, a little... Hmm, I don't know about a little beach cabin. A beach cabin doesn't sound very... Um, very legit <laughs> to me. I don't think so. Uh, oh, that's andesite. That's a different type of... Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we've got enough for two furnaces. Ooh, that's a beautiful area over there. Maybe that's where we'll go. Ooh, and I want you too. There's so many things in this mod pack to just kind of see and appreciate and collect and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're definitely going to want to get a backpack as quickly as we can, but I think I don't want to slaughter the cows. I think I probably want to breed the cows uh, to make sure that is a long way down. Um, I'm a little worried that those cows are going to fall in here, so we're just going to block that off. For the sake of the cows. There we go. Um, I think my best bet is probably going to be to breed the cows. Because those aren't going to provide me enough leather by themselves anyway. For me to really do anything. So I think we'll breed them up. We'll breed them up and we'll make it work that way. Uh, yeah, man. This location right here. This kind of speaks to me. Like, this is just gorgeous. This is perfect. Uh, I think this is definitely going to be where we build... Our little starter house, just right here. And it's already getting night. Or getting to be night, but I think... I mean, I can make a bed, so shouldn't be a big deal. Um, let's go and make a couple... Let's just make a double chest. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves a bed right away as well. There we go. And that way, we have a place to sleep, since it's getting dark. So, although it does seem to get dark, uh, like, the actual world gets dark long before it's night, probably because of the shaders. So, 
I'm gonna sleep a little bit. I'm gonna kind of figure out what I wanna do here for a starter house and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got kind of this idea for this house figured out. So what I'm thinking is essentially we'll have kind of this sort of a shape going here. And this gives us a much more interesting shape than, you know, just a simple box. <laughs> It'll make the house look a lot better than just having a basic box shape. And then I think we're going to have like a wraparound deck that comes... Actually, maybe we push that out one more just so it's uh, two. Yeah, I think I think that's a little better. Um, I'm going to make a, a stone axe. Because one thing about the lumber the uh, lumberjack mod, if I use this on these planks, it's going to tear up all of these. And that's not very good for building. So, we'll just put that guy away. It's very useful for resource gathering, which is why I don't really feel so bad about putting it in the back. But it really doesn't fundamentally change anything. It just kind of uh, makes things go a little faster. So, I think it's fine. Uh, and then I'm thinking, like, right here is where we'll put the other one. So this whole thing will essentially be like a wraparound deck right here. Right? So, let's go ahead and build this up a bit. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to do that on all of these pillars. And that fall damage is real. Man, it's getting me. Oh, they moved it. <laughs> I was going to jump on that one to, to slow my fall a little bit, but uh, that didn't happen. Uh, we do have some pork chops we can eat, though, which is definitely a good thing. Now, they don't restore a whole lot of hunger, as you can see, um, but it should be noted that in this mod pack, your health will actually regenerate whether or not your hunger is full. So that's kind of a cool thing. There we go. And that looks pretty good. I think we'll bring this up as well. This little section that kind of sticks out right here. I think that's good. That's a very interesting shape, and I like it. Um, now, we are going to need a lot more planks than this. We're going to need some stairs for sure. Uh, and, well, that might be enough. That might be enough stairs. Because this is this is going to be our, our like, deck. This will be our floor level. Like, we'll have a, a staircase that leads up. We'll probably have our front door like right here I'm kind of thinking come on get up there so like grab this. so like our front door will be right here maybe like that'll be our main door and then we'll have like a window maybe right here right does that seem yeah, that seems pretty good. And then maybe here we'll have maybe like a double wide window like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good as well. And then here maybe we'll have two windows. I'm just kind of figuring out my shape here for the house. And I think we're only going to go that high for our windows. Like, that seems... That seems to be a good height. Uh, for this particular house, anyway. And then here, I'm thinking we'll have a single... window as well, like that. And same, probably, on... these sides right here. as well as right here. Looks like I'm going to run out of... <laughs> oh, maybe not. I've got more dark oak than I thought I did. have a couple stacks of it. So I think we'll be okay. Um, 
a couple more windows right there. And then this guy will be a window as well, like so. And this guy will also be a little, a little single window, just like that. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then we can kind of maximize our wood by taking this dark oak and just filling this stuff in right here with planks. And then we'll have fences on top or uh, something similar. But this would be our door. So, let me go ahead and get some stuff filled in here, guys. Let me go gather some more resources, because I'm definitely going to need some stone for this build. And I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I have been out and about doing stuff. Dark Oaks, do they re- I wonder if saplings replant automatically if they, like, fall from the tree. That'd be really cool. Um, anyway, so I've been out and about doing some exploring, and I've decided... I changed my mind about one thing. Originally, I wanted to do stone highlights on the building. And the more I was thinking about it, the more I was like, mm, you know what, let's go with wood. Let's go with wood. Uh, because, first of all, um, wood is a lot easier to get, given that we've got the whole lumberjack axe thing. But the other thing is, I, I feel like it would just be better in general for us to have kind of this little... Um, this little wooden area. I also want a different type of wood to use for the floor. So I did a little bit of exploring. And if you go off in that direction, um, maybe like 100, 200 blocks, not too far, uh, you'll come across a spruce forest. So I just grabbed a bunch of spruce. I'm like, we'll use this. It'll be perfect. So I'm going to tear up the floor in here because I know that I do want... Uh, the floor in here to be spruce, not the dark oak. That way there's a little bit of differentiation between the walls and the floor, which is always a good thing. And then I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So I decided to swap out the, uh, the deck flooring for spruce as well. And uh, then we've got these um, dark oak logs coming up. But I think it looks pretty good. I think it really looks the way that I wanted it to. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, now, let's put a couple torches up in here, because obviously we want this area to be lit up. And I'll probably put another one, like, right there. Perfect, I happen to have one torch left. There we go. Okay, so that should keep the inside lit up relatively well. Uh, we are going to need a little bit of sand, luckily. There happens to be some. Right here. That we can take for our own purposes. There we go. I should need a ton of it because there's not really that many window spaces. Uh, let's get five more. That should be good. That should give me 16, right? Yes, good. Okay, so we've got that. I also found some coal on my journeys, which is definitely a good thing. And let's just get that smelting up and some iron as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, but for the roof, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the roof primarily out of spruce. So let me make a bunch of spruce stairs. Or, or we'll make the, the highlights on the roof primarily out of spruce, I should say. Uh, so let me make a bunch of spruce stairs here. That hopefully will be enough. I think. I think it will be. And then we need to figure out where the main part of our house is. And that, I think, is right about here. Like, this would be the main section of the house. And then everything else kind of builds off of it. Right? So, what we can do... It's probably built up at that angle. And then this guy would kind of come around at this angle. Like so. And then this is the main section of the house as well. Yup. 
except here it's not connected. The hardest part of a roof is figuring out where to put all the parts of the roof. Like that is without a doubt the hardest part of any roof, at least if it's gonna be an interesting, a good looking roof. And I think this will do. So essentially this part will, sh uh, will, sli will share a slope. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. Um, I'm gonna need a lot more dark oak stairs though, which is fine. Like that's perfectly okay. Do I have enough to do? No, I don't. That's all right, we'll make... Whoa, wrong one. There we go. Let's just make two stacks of dark oak stairs for now. I'll probably, I will almost certainly need more than that later. Uh, but for now, that'll do. And then let's just kind of pillar up here so I can get up here and do some work on the roof. So, oop, wrong. Spruce stairs, there we go. So, what we're going to have is a roof shape like this, right? On the main building. Um, I think we'll just keep it real simple. Just do a nice, simple triangle roof. Nothing, nothing too exciting there. Nothing too fancy. Just something like that, and probably just a slab at the top. And what's gonna make this roof interesting is the fact that it will be made up of a whole bunch of different shapes and things like that. That will keep it far more interesting than the actual, like, roof itself. So, this guy needs to come up. Quite a ways. Like that. And then... This guy... Ooh, am I out of spruce stairs? No, I'm not. Good. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I misplaced this guy, though. This is not supposed to go that way. I'm here, you. You're supposed to go like that. There we go. And then this is our roof point here, right? Yeah. So that will come up right here, I believe. Yeah. And that should be lined up with that. Yes, it is. That looks good. So then we can just take our spruce slabs, and in theory, these will connect up just like, oh, actually this needs to go on top though. Did I put it on top over here? Yes, I did, good. So then we take this, do the same right here. I'm gonna run out of spruce slabs. That's okay, well, maybe not. No, I am going to run out. Just barely. Just barely I'm going to run out. That's okay. Um, but that's kind of our basic roof shape right here. And I think that will look pretty good once we get all of the dark oak put in like this. I think that'll look really good. Let me just kind of get this side done here. And then we'll kind of step back and just make sure the colors work and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we do something like that. Uh, this guy. These ones are always a little finicky. Um, but it should be fine. So here it'll kind of come up. Yep, that's good. This will go, I suppose we'll go like that. And then slabs here, just so that comes up at a more even angle. And here, we'll connect that over and around. We'll connect this like that. And then, these guys will come over and around as well. Man, those shaders are so bright. That's okay though. It makes it makes everything look absolutely gorgeous. It's fine. And oh, 
upside down. That's okay, we'll grab it in a minute. That guy goes there. That guy goes here. And then we put in our spruce wood slabs there and it should be good. I mean, at this point, the roof is basically done, so we might as well finish it now. Now that I've pretty much built the entire roof. There we go. Ooh, that I don't know about. That little section. I mean, it's not... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to look at that and decide what I want to do there. Let me get some more work done, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got the house as about as good as I'm going to get it. Uh, oh, I missed the half slabs up there. I knew I forgot something. There's always something you forget. It's okay. Uh, let's just grab these, and do I have any half slabs in here? Nope. I have to make a few more. No big deal. There we go. And while we're at it, let's actually go ahead and make some glass panes, too so that we can fill in these windows, like a so. That was pretty good. Okay. And as you can see, my food is already an issue right now. I'm definitely gonna need to work on that a little bit, but that's okay. That'll give us something to do very soon. Today, the goal is just to finish the starter house. That is, that is the goal and I'll worry about food and stuff afterwards. I did put a door in here. We'll put some windows in there. And like so. Now, this this is ugly. This is very not a good look up there. So, let's grab Well, I've got some dark oak logs. This might this might be fine. So, I'm thinking what we'll do is just kind of build some beams that kind of come across here. And maybe there. And then maybe like here as well. Just, you know, kind of a support structure type looking thing. And then, once we've got those in place, we'll just take spruce planks. And actually, let me grab some coal. Let me make a few more torches as well while I'm at it. I think that's probably a good idea. There we go. And we'll just put maybe a couple torches up here, just to make sure that this area isn't spawnable, because that would be bad. Uh, but then we'll just take these spruce slabs and just kind of fill in this area on the top half of the block so that the logs come down just, just a little bit. I think that creates a really rustic and interesting ceiling. So that's what we're going to go with. There we go. Oh, and let's not miss this little section right here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, we'll probably have to maybe put a torch here or something. Um, we'll have to tweak this a little bit as, we, as time goes along, but that's definitely a really good start. Now, as far as fences go. Let's just take a look. We've got our default vanilla ones. We've got some other random ones. I'm kind of thinking we do have carpenters blocks in this pack. So I'm thinking carpenters, carpenters blocks are probably going to be the way to go. Let's just make a bunch of those. And we'll make ourselves some carpenter's blocks here, like that. And then, is that the recipe? Yes, I remembered. I'm kind of amazed that I remembered, to be honest. And then we'll just go ahead and kind of bring this. Oh, that one was a misplaced. That's okay. We'll go like that. I'm thinking we'll have the entrance to the deck be like right here. So instead of slabs right there, well actually we can still use slabs. We'll just put them down just a little bit. So this is where you go to kind of get up the deck. We can put on top of each of these a torch. 
and that'll basically be on top of where each of those logs are. And then that also has the added bonus of letting us bring these pillars down without having to make ourselves a carpenter's hammer, which would require iron that we really don't have right now. So, then we'll just go ahead and apply the dark oak texture to them like so. And that looks pretty good. That is a beautiful little starter house. That's not too bad. I like it. I think it needs a chimney. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe turning off fire tick, fire spread for this mod pack since it's going to be a very buildy let's play. You know, that would allow us to do some very cool things with fireplaces and stuff like that without having to worry about burning, burning our entire house down. Uh, but let me know what you think. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.